What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer 229, and welcome to Let's Play Super Metroid. The third Metroid game released, and was released on the SNES in 1994. This is going to be quite an interesting project because I'm not... I'm not the biggest fan of Metroidvanias, but I've always wanted to try out Super Metroid, and I've tried out a few Metroid games in the past. Um, so I've liked a lot more than others. So we'll get into a bit more of my history with the Metroid series a little bit later. What's interesting about the version that we are playing today is that we are doing this on an SNES! Kind of. Um, I wonder if I can actually show this. Um, no, it doesn't seem to be actually working. I'm actually playing this on the SNES uh, Mini. So, yeah, it has a bit... I'm trying to figure this out as I go. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I exactly get back to, like, the main menu or how I create, like, save states. Probably should have figured that out before starting this. <laughs> but, whatever. Let's go ahead and begin a new game. Uh, let's see. Start game, English text, controller settings, special setting. What's that? Icon, cancel, moonwalk... Uh, this looks to be specifically for the, uh, SNES Mini. Controller settings. Uh, shoot is X, jump is A, dash is B, I'm selected is that, angle up is R, angle down is L. Okay. Seems simple. Let's go ahead and begin. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which, hatch after hatching, followed me like a confused child. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres, so scientists could study its energy-producing qualities. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack. Okay, so I really need to get accustomed to this because there's a kind of like a replica of an SNES controller that I'm using, and I have never once held an SNES controller before this. So this is going to take a while to get used to. Okay, so aim up, aim down, shoot, 
B does nothing right now. Y does nothing right now. Okay. It seems simple enough for the time being. Aiming a diagonally is going to be rather interesting. Um, okay, so I can also shoot downward if I hold that. I can shoot up. Actually, just kind of interesting. So I can kind of use the L and R button in order to fire diagonally. Or I can just shoot diagonally. Oh, hitting down just crouches. And I'm just kind of stuck there. Interesting. So yeah, I can do that with using the D-pad as well. That's good to know. Okay. Seems eerily quiet. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies. There's a lot of dead bodies. But no other sign of attackers. It's the Metroid. Uh, Metroid? Oh no. Oh no! It's Ridley! Damn it. Freaking tail. Ah! Darn you, Ridley! Ah. Yeah, being underneath him is not the way to do this. Okay, and now for signature Metroid escape sequence. Let's go. We got a minute to get out of here. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. The station isn't that big. Let's keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh. No idea what happened to my jump right there. Was it the steam? Might have been the steam. It just kind of disrupted my jump. Uh, yeah, it kind of does that. It doesn't hurt me, though, so that's good. Because Ridley just kind of wrecked me. Ah! The fact that- OH NO! Get to the thing, Samus! and we've arrived on planet Zebes. So, my relationship with the Metroid series before we really get going too far. Uh, oh, back into the ship. Oh cool, my ship is a save point. Awesome. So, uh, my relationship with the Metroid series has been iffy at best. This isn't my first Metroid game. Um, also can't go this way. And this is not my first Metroid game. I've actually played four Metroid games before this. And I've had various opinions on how I feel about all of them. Which, not all of them are going to be uh, what people are generally going to agree with, but these are basically my opinions. The Metroid games that I played before this uh, are the original Metroid, can't go that way, um, Metroid Prime 3, Metroid Fusion, and Other M. Can't go that way. 
At least I don't think I can. I don't seem to have any morph ball capabilities, so I'm assuming I can't go that way. Um, so my opinions on all the Metroid games are, well, iffy. I'll go in order from least favorite to most favorite up to this point. So my least favorite Metroid game is the original Metroid. I cannot stand playing the original Metroid. It is way too easy to get lost. It is super confusing and everything just looks the same. Like I've heard people complain that the original Legend of Zelda is kind of like maze, like there's like no enemies here. Why am I being super careful? Um, but there is something that the original Legend of Zelda has and that's landmarks. You can easily create a sort of, oh, oh, this is where Mother Brain was. Um, you could easily create your own sort of map in order to figure out where to find things are in the original Legend of Zelda. You cannot do that in the original Metroid. There are corridors that are literally the exact same as each other. Like, you will go into a room, go down a sideways corridor, and you'll just get another vertical corridor that looks exactly the same. You go through another door, and it looks exactly the same as that sideways corridor you were in before. It is really, really irritating to try to find where exactly it is that you need to go anywhere in the original Metroid. Hey, the Morph Ball! And I just... Oh. Uh... Okay. Can't exactly do anything to get out of here. Do I shoot you? Um, maybe I turn to a morph ball here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be. Oh wait, I can shoot this. There we go. For some reason, I thought I needed bombs to get through that. It's like, wait a minute. No, no, I'm done. So yeah, original Metroid, really different, really irritating to try to even play that game. Uh, oh, I can shoot down these. Uh, so the next one that I would put in this sort of sequence would be, uh, Metroid Prime 3. I was given that game by Overlord, and, oh! Missiles! Select missiles and press the X button. Okay. Um, how do I, how do I select missiles? How do I select missiles? Select allows me to pick the missiles. Gotcha. Okay, and it's just a toggle. Good to know. Um, so next is Metroid Prime 3. In Metroid Prime 3, I just can't really get into Metroid Prime 3, to be honest. A lot of the problems that I have with that game is that you need to do, especially certain boss fights, you have to do a very specific sequence, and it feels less like a battle and more like a puzzle, and you're constantly getting hurt in. More missiles. So, I don't know. Like, I just got really frustrated trying to play Metroid Prime 3, and it just wasn't really all that fun. I may give it another go. Like, I don't know, maybe I was just being a little bit harsh or anything like that. Um... I need to be careful because I know there's like secrets literally everywhere. Um. So yeah, like I just really couldn't get into Metroid Prime 3. Next, I would say is Metroid Fusion. And Fusion, the only big problem I have with Fusion is the fact that I don't really like horror. And Fusion actually makes Metroid into more of like a horror game. Which, you know, props to the creators for keeping that feeling, and it was still an overall enjoyable game. I actually managed to finish Fusion. Not 100%, which also, I'm not 100%ing this game. I am playing this game to completion. I also know there's a bunch of different tricks that you can do. You can... I know there's... This is very popular to speedrun and very popular to sequence break. Oh jeez! Space Pirates! Uh, so yeah. Ah! 
like I mentioned, I know it's easy to sequence break this game. I'm not going for any sequence break. I'm not going for 100% completion. I'm just going to beat the game. That is all that I am planning on doing with this project. This is my first playthrough. I am not intending to do any sort of special maneuvers or doing things that, like, you're not supposed to do. Because I kind of want to do things how they're supposed to be. Unless I figure it out on my own, because fudge your level design and all that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to fusion. Fusion... Fusion is fine. Like I said, not my cup of tea, but I did have a decent amount of enjoyment playing through fusion. Oh jeez, these guys can jump. Uh, and then we get to what is absolutely the most controversial opinion, Other M. I really like Other M, actually. The gameplay of Other M is spectacular. I just really love playing through the game, and I know people generally trash on Other M primarily because of the story, but I can honestly say that, especially when I first played Other M, I could not give less of a crap about Metroid's story. I've kind of looked into it a bit more in recent years, especially since uh, Metroid Dread was announced. That actually looks rather interesting. Um, but even still, like, I don't really have much of a problem with Other M, and it is really fun to play. Okay, now all the enemies have showed up. So, I just find that to be a super enjoyable experience. And I do think that a lot of people kind of... Oh. I need bombs. I don't have bombs. I do think the biggest problem when it comes to Other M is just the difference in the uh, Japanese interpretation of Samus' character and the Western interpretation of Samus' character. Since the Eastern interpretation of her character is more like a flawed hero who overcomes uh, her own fear. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Give me the missiles. Damn it, I missed it. <laughs> Where it is the more Western interpretation of Samus' character more is more of a stoic badass. So I feel like the more Western interpretation is more one note, but again, is a badass. Whereas the Eastern interpretation is more what is this? Map data access. Oh, it's a map! Okay, cool. Uh, cafeteria. There's a save point up there. Brin Star's over there. That also leads to Brin Star. Wreck shipped and Meridia. Okay. So I guess Star allows me to access that. R allows me to take a look at Samus. All I have is the Morph Ball. Cool. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned, the Western interpretation of Samus is more so the one note stoic badass that you primarily just learn through games. Whereas the more Japanese interpretation of her character. Oh man, these guys. I'm more used to how they function in the original Metroid, where you they actually pause if you hit them. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, the Eastern interpretation is more someone overcoming their own fear. Uh, their own flaws and that sort of thing. Which makes her more dynamic, but, again, just kind of less stoic. And that's kind of where Other M's biggest problem really resides. Uh, go ahead and save. Uh, does that refill my energy? It does not. Okay, does not refill my energy, does not refill my missiles. Good to know. Crap. So yeah, I mean, that's just kind of my thoughts of the whole thing with Other M. I mean, I'm not going to die on a hill and think that Other M is like the best Metroid game because, you know, part of the reason why I want to try to play Super Metroid is that I just really couldn't get into Metroid with the three games that I had played previously. Go ahead and just touch those guys. Um... Yeah, I couldn't get into Metroid, so I figured, okay, it's either going to be uh, the most loved version of Metroid or the most divisive that's going to get me into it. You know, I liked Other M, but 
It wasn't really something that I would want to go out of my way to play other Metroid games. And it's just... Me wanting to play Super Metroid has been on a back burner for years. Oh shoot, oh shoot, there's a lot of them, there's a lot of them! So yeah, this has been on a back burner for years and years. Chozo statue. Oh shoot. And bombs. Nice. So yeah, this is something that I've just wanted to try to do for a very long time, and it's. Uh. Um. Oh no. Two missiles! I'm out of missiles! Am I supposed to? I don't think I'm just supposed to beat with missiles, I think I'm just supposed to beat it. Damn it! I'm going to die here! Yeah, I'm totally gonna die here. I'm totally gonna die here. Well, it's a good thing I hit that save point. Oh, this is different. Oh, I get to choose where I spawn in? That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna meet you guys back over where that bomb is. I'm gonna try to be at full energy and have more than four missiles. And we'll see if we can do better. All right, well, I'm at full health this time. Um, I can't exactly do much about the missiles because I need to use five of them in order to, you know, get in here. So, let's see how this goes this time. Maybe I'll actually learn to dodge these things better. I'm not entirely sure... Oh, jeez. He didn't use that attack before. Oh, and he can... I wish he did that more! Crap. Okay, he lost his head. Wow, that actually worked out significantly better. Why was I... I must not have been hitting him either in the right spot, or maybe it's just because... I don't know why I was having so much trouble with that. He didn't use that beam attack before. I wish he did, it would have been... A lot easier to do damage to him. Oh no, not these guys again. So yeah, uh, I'm trying to get back to my train of thought. Um, Super Metroid was on my backlog for years and years. Yeah, stupid things, I'm just gonna run past them. And, you know, certain circumstances allowed me to just try to finally get it off the backlog. And just do it today. So that's why we're playing Super Metroid. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay. So now that we have bombs, we can go elsewhere. Uh, however, I am going to head on into my ship. Um, it's getting to be pretty close to calling it a day. Uh, but I think we'd probably go on for a little bit longer. Um, what was blocking? Oh, okay. Uh, something that doesn't look like I can- Well, I guess I could try to missile that. Yeah, missiles aren't doing anything. Alright, I figured they wouldn't. I figured it was worth trying anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Actually, 
One thing I want to check. Maybe I'm just too used to, like, other M and restoring everything whenever I hit a save point. Oh, cool. Okay, Samus' ship does restore everything. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I know other M did have, like, the ability to just regain all of your energy and missiles once you hit a save point. It didn't seem to do that when I hit that save point before, but I guess Samus' ship fully recharges everything. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm also... I, I know I'm going to miss just a ton of secrets. Ah! What was that? Uh... Another one of those kind of... It looks like a wall. Definitely looks like a suspicious wall, though, so there's probably some way of being able to go past that. Uh, let's go over here, though. Because now that I have bombs... I can go over here. And there's an item over here! Oh boy! What's in here? Missiles! Cool! Are you gonna come to life, too? No? Okay. Anything hidden in the ground? No? Okay, we're good. Well, getting those missiles are nice. Oh, hello! Aw. Aw, man. I thought I found something cool. It's like, nope. Okay, so where exactly... Um... Where exactly do I go from here? A bunch of things over there. Do I head back down? I guess. I don't think there was anywhere I could go within Brinstar. Um, I can maybe take a look though. Because I don't think there was anywhere else I could really go. I'm gonna check down here, see if there's anything, and if not, well, then I guess we're just gonna go back to Sandwich's ship. Oh, hello! Well, this is rather interesting. I know what that icon is. That's a super bomb icon. Um, well, I guess there is something down here. I don't have super bombs, though. So we'll, we'll just have to come back to that another time. Okay, so aside from that super bomb area, um, I did not see anything of worth. So I am not entirely sure where exactly it is that I need to go, because that's where the map was. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of... Duck. Maybe there's something in the main area where the ship is? Um, because otherwise I have absolutely no idea how to... Damn it. I have absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. I mean, there's this. Maybe it's ten misses. Nope. Did not think so. Oh! It's not missiles, it's bombs! Wait. Hold on a sec. If that can get through with bombs... Could I get through the other area with bombs? Let's check. Okay. At the very least, though, I can get back to the ship and restore all my stuff. Okay, can bombs break through this? Yes! Okay! So bombs can break through this gravel-like substance. Interesting. Except I have no idea how to get through this green door. Blue doors I just shoot. Red doors I can just missile. Do not know how to get past a green door, though. 
Green doors just remind me of Metroid Prime 3, but I'm pretty sure that was just a normal door. Um, well, there's this big open area over here. And I don't really have anywhere... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. There could have been goodies in there. Oh, cool. The gravel's still gone. Well, I can just kind of explore around this area for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Super Metroid. Uh, we do have one area that we could potentially go. There is nothing out over that way. Uh, we do have that one area that we could potentially take a look at. Uh, we did manage to discover that. So we can go ahead and see if that leads to anywhere. It doesn't seem like there's anything here. Um, so we can go ahead and take a look at that and continue on our mission. And, you know, once we get super bombs, we can head back over to Brinstar and see what was behind that. So until next time, everyone, take care.